And welcome to Owensboro Zone with Dave Kirk. I'm here at Trundles on 54 with Michaela here at Trundles. Now, Michaela, we are doing some Valentine's Day uh, goodies here at Trundles. Let's just kind of talk about what we have in front of us. All right, we've got some berries to dip. Um, we also have cake pops that we're going to dip today. Okay, so we'll get on our gloves here. Because here at Trundles, of course, they're wearing masks and using gloves to keep everyone safe. With strawberries, you know, what are some of the, like, things that people don't know when it comes to dipping? Like, how do you get them to look pretty? Because I, I never have them look <laughs> as good as you guys. Um, we try to get the keep the berries kind of a consistent size. Um, make sure you drip a lot of the chocolate off so they're not sitting in pools of chocolate. Okay. Um, and then we also have plenty of pretty stuff to decorate them with. Okay, well I'm going to follow your lead. So you go All ahead right. and take the first one. Let's see how the master does it. A little gonna... white chocolate there? Yep, get all the clumps out of it. Do you ever attempted to just take the spoon and just... Always. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. You're just going to dip it up to the top. Okay, that looks great. Get all the excess off. And we can sprinkle it. We can drizzle it. So there's it. no wait time. Y'all go ahead and hit it with, with decorations then. Yep. Um, depending on what you do, you can wait for the drizzle. It depends on the decoration. There's lots of different stuff we do. So, okay, so it depends on how you decorate. Here's my attempt. We've, so we've got consistently sized berries here for those of you at home. We kind of hit it here in this white chocolate. All right. And then we just kind of let it, like you said, drizzle off. Yep. The consistency of the chocolate's key too, right? Mm -hmm. So it's not too clumpy or thin. Yep. And we just, just like that, right? Right like that. And you can okay. decorate it if you want. I'm going to go with a couple couple red hearts on mine. Now, how do we do that? You just kind of let just it... Just sit it in there and you're going to want to hold it for just a okay. second so that it will straighten her out. You just kind of want to let it sit for a second. And your chocolate's kind of hardened a little bit now, so it's a little bit easier. All right. There we go. Now, you know, with Trunnels, a lot of people probably don't think about Valentine's Day and chocolate dipped strawberries. But, uh, you know, they, they go out to either, like you said, here the 54 location. I know you'll have a great deli and all kinds of goods. Or they go out to uh, probably the most popular location out at the Family Farm Maker. Mm -hmm. um, why Valentine's Day? Like, when did you guys get into this kind of stuff? We dip berries. Um year round actually like depending on uh, orders that come in but we always usually have chocolate dipped strawberries available um we do them for all occasions not just valentine's um but we do a ton of valentine's berries it was, gets pretty wild in here i was gonna say because i know obviously chocolate uh chocolate covered strawberries are very popular for valentine's day what kind of cost uh, do you all sell these in like Two packs, six packs, you know, how, how does someone come in and decide how many they want? They are available singly for $3. We sell them by the dozen for 24 or the half dozen for 14. When are you guys open? When can I come by and see that, or get one of these? We are open from 10 to six, Okay. Uh, Monday through Saturday, and Sundays from 12 to five. Now you also, I see, have some cake pops. We let's do have a, cake pops. Let's take a look at those. What, uh, what kind of cake is that? It's uh, red velvet uh, cake rolls that we mix together. Oh yeah. And we form them into little balls and and we dip them and we've got cake pops. All right, let's see how that's done here. Is this a sanctioned uh, cake pop dryer yep. thingy? Yep. <laughs> Otherwise we'd be sitting here I for a really say, long time. Was, so now that we've kind of decorated some of our strawberries, how long do we have to wait and let that sit before they're ready to go? Um, not very long. Um, like these ones are definitely ready to go. You all put them in the fridge or you just let them No, rest they're actually the um, stay be better um, at room temperature. In the fridge, they kind of get um, like a condensation on the outside. They la they're much more fresher if you leave them out of the fridge and they usually last two to three days depending on the berries. I think I've got to try one of yours. They're just, they're just <laughs> prettier than mine. So again, I'm going to take it off, step over here. For Valentine's Day, this is where you need to come. I mean, that that is it. Oh my gosh. And you're going to want to more than one of these things so i'm just going to tell you that don't plan to do one a person <laughs> you're going to want to do a, at least a couple a person and my gosh that's good so that's just white chocolate and sprinkles yep well we do offer more than white chocolate you can do milk chocolate dark chocolate you can drizzle them in whatever color we have pink purple red well i mean that settles it then for valentine's day this year and year round like you heard they do these throughout the year come out to trundles Get yourself a couple of chocolate dipped strawberries and uh, enjoy something for the whole family. And whether it's for a loved one or your kids or co-workers, if you want to be that MVP of the year, come out to Trials. Kayla, thank you so much for talking to us today about dipping strawberries. And we hope to see you soon here at Trials.